Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy. We got a great face off for you today. The Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc versus the LG Optimus 2X. Don't forget to stop by smartphoneenvy.com. Check out the written review. My winner of today's face off along with some photos and videos taken by both of the contestants. If you're watching this on YouTube, simply click on the link in the description and that'll get you right over to smartphoneenvy.com. All right, let's kick off our face off. Our Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc quad band GSM dual band 3G. No 4G connectivity, weighs in at 117 grams. Definitely the lighter of the two. Build quality, primarily high grade plastic. You do have a scratch resistant display. Got some chrome accents on the three physical keys down here at the bottom. Got a chrome accent on top, bottom, and both sides as well. You can see just how thin the arc is right there and the arc of the back of the phone. Underneath the battery cover, which is made out of a rubberized plastic. You see that right there. You've got a 1500 milliamp hour battery rated at seven hours of talk time. You can see your micro SD card slot is right here, so it's not hot swappable. See your L, your SIM card slot just to the right of that. Put the cover back on down here at the bottom. Got the phone speaker, LED flash, eight megapixel camera up on top. Is the power and lock key, which I'm not crazy about. It's a little too recessed. It. You can push the home key to turn the phone on, but you have to push this down to turn it off. It's kind of a pain. At least it is for me. HDMI port, uh, micro USB port, volume rocker, and shutter key for the camera. All on the right hand side. On the bottom is the microphone. Two holes for lanyard loop, and on the left hand side is the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. All right, the Optimus 2X. Also quad band GSM, also dual band 3G, and also no 4G connectivity. Weighs it at 135 grams. Put it. Puts it in the weight class of uh, an Atrix 4G or an iPhone 4. Build quality is outstanding. You've got Gorilla Glass, which blends right into a very nice metal rim that encompasses the entire display. The battery cover itself is made out of a rubberized plastic. It comes in both black and brown. Open this up. Take a look at the battery. And here's our battery. Again, it's a 1500 milliamp hour battery. However, it's rated at seven hours and 50 minutes of talk time. You can see the uh, micro SD card slot is right here. So it is hot swappable, your SIM card slot right there. Get this back on. Got your eight megapixel camera with LED flash up on top. Three and a half millimeter headphone jack, your HDMI port power and lock key. Right hand side volume rocker up and down. On the bottom is a microphone, a speaker, as well as the micro USB port and on the left hand side were blank. Alright, let's talk about cameras because they're both identical. Both of them offer 8 megapixel cameras with autofocus and LED flash, touch focus, image stabilization, geotagging, face and smile detection. The big difference is going to be both of them offer video capture at 720p at 30 frames per second. However, the Optimus 2X from LG also offers video capture at 1080p full HD at 24 frames per second. And again, I'll have some photos and videos posted over at uh, smartphoneme.com so you guys can take a look at that. Um, displays on both. And the displays are very nice on both of them as well. The Xperia Arc offers a 4.2 inch Super LCD capacitive touch display showing 480 by 854 pixels. Offers an accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, as well as multi-touch. There is no front facing camera. Just below the display there are three physical keys starting from left, back key, home key, and main menu key. On the Optimus 2X, you've got a 4-inch IPS LCD, 480 by 800 pixels, also capacitive touch. Has an accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, as well as multi-touch. Has a front-facing camera up here in the upper right-hand corner for video calls. And four touch-sensitive keys below the display, main menu key, home key, back key, and search key. As far as memory, the Xperia Arc has 320 megabytes of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM. Internal storage can be expanded additional 32 gigabytes through the use of a micro SD card. The internal storage on the Optimus 2X is an is 8 gigabytes of internal storage, 512 megabytes of RAM, and again you can expand internal storage an additional 32 gigabytes through the use of a micro SD card. Both of the phones offer Wi-Fi 802.11 BGNN along with support for DLNA and both have HDMI outs. Both offer Bluetooth version 2.1 with support for A2DP, GPS with support for AGPS. Both phones can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. The processor on the Xperia Arc is Qualcomm's MSM 8255 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. On the Optimus 2X, you've got NVIDIA's Tegra 2 1 gigahertz dual core processor. Operating system on the Xperia Arc is Android 2.3 Gingerbread. 
on the Optimus 2X Android 2.2 Froyo. All right, as you can see, I had time to stop by the Android market and download the Quadrant Standard Benchmark test on both our both of our combatants. So, what do you say we run it and see what we get? We would expect the Atrix 4 Atrix 4G. I'll get it right. We would expect the LG Optimus 2X come back with the higher score because it's running the uh, NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual core processor, 1 gigahertz dual core processor, versus the Qualcomm MSM8255 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor on the ARC. Uh, both are offering the same amount of RAM, 512 megabytes of RAM, so there's no advantage there for either one. And then the Xperia Arc is running the latest version of Android 2.3 Gingerbread versus the 2.2 Froyo on the Optimus 2X. In the 3D graphics, gives you a good look at the quality of the displays on both. Into the last 3D graphic on the Arc. And all right, what do we got on the Arc? Arc came back at 1529. The Optimus 2X came back at 26.02. So on our benchmark test, the big time winner is the Optimus 2X. Again, we're going to run an unofficial speed test to see how things work in the real world as well. All right, let's run our YouTube comparison. I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network. They're both set to default to play HQ. I have the volume turned up on this one. The first video we'll watch will be uh, the LG, and then we'll listen to the... Uh, arc on the second one and we're off what's happening guys chest i hope i said that right it's a little shout out to everyone in poland who watches equals three anyway there's this video floating around of lady gaga busting her ass pretty hard at a concert <laughs> A lot of people don't like Lady Gaga, but I give her credit. She fell fairly hard. Oh. But she gets on up and keeps singing like... All right, there's our first one. Let me turn down the volume on one and up on the other. Here we go. All right, there's a little look at our YouTube comparison. Again, the volume on the first one was coming from the LG. On the second one, it was coming from the ARC. As far as they give you a chance to compare audio quality, and obviously you can compare picture quality when you're taking a look at it. As far as loading um, videos, I think the LG was uh, loaded quicker uh, both times. All right, let's run our navigation comparison. And since there is no dedicated search key on the ARC, we'll use the search widget. Navigate to Corner Bakery. Head north on Lansburn Circle toward Instone Court. Unfortunately, I had the arc on mute, so I'm sure we would have heard the Voice got a turn by turn navigation on the arc as well, so both of them handled it without any problem whatsoever. And take a look at Google Maps. Very smooth. Double tap to zoom in. Turns to zoom as well. Then turn left at Avery Road. Head southeast on Cuffing Way toward La Venture Road. Then turn left at La Venture Road. As you can hear. The arc had absolutely no problem with the voice guided turn by turn. I'm guessing that was the second time it had regurgitated that information. You can see in the uh, Optimus 2X, very smooth. No issues redrawing, very quick. All right, let's take a look at the arc. Again, both of them are very smooth, no problem redrawing. Zoom out a little bit further. There we go. And redraws pretty quick. Let's get back over. 
I could redraw some, some city. There we go. Yeah, maybe not quite as fast, but pretty close. There's a look at our navigation comparison, and both of them handled the voice guided turn by turn, grabbing GPS, all of the goods, um, with no issues whatsoever. All right, I think it's time for unofficial speed test. Download a task killer on both. Let's kill all of the tasks. And then let's look for something to run. What do you say we start out with maps? Got maps there, maps here, and we're off. That looked to be the Optimus 2X. Let's try calendar on both. Calendar on one. And you know what? Let's make these alphabetical just to help me out real quick. There we go. And calendar the other, and we're off. And that was definitely the Xperia Arc. All right, let's try Gmail on both. And I've got these in alphabetic order. It should be a little bit easier on both. Here we go. And we're off. If I look like a tie, no matter how you slice it. Let's try messaging on both. Hard for me to tell. That looked like a tie as well. Let's launch the camera applications for both. And let's do it from inside here so it's fair. And we're off. That was definitely the Optimus 2X by a long shot. Let's look at load contacts on both. And contacts, contacts. Oh, that one didn't work. Let's try settings on both. Settings and settings. I look like a tie to me. Pretty close. Let's try the Android market on both. It. There we go, there we go. That looked like a tie as well. And then finally, let's go to movies. And let's see, that should be under downloads. Here it's going to be under M. We're off. Looks like it was the Optimus 2X. But let's run the video and see who does a better job of bringing it up. And the Xperia Arc was the first to run the video. So there's our unofficial speed test between the Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc and the LG Optimus 2X.